So let's begin with the year 2011. On this day in history, February 22nd, 2011, there was a match of loyal to the martyrs. It was an uprising in the country Bahrain where tens of thousands of people matched in an uprising against the deaths of seven victims who were killed by police and army forces during previous protests. So they named it after seven victims who were killed by police and army and protesters carried the flag of the country. They demanded the fall of the government. They demanded an implementation of a constitutional monarch. They demanded an end of the regime and the protests were inspired by the successful uprisings that you know we saw in Egypt and Tunisia. And uh, also four protesters were killed, more than 300 were shot and 21st February, the government, the king, cancelled the Formula One race that was originally scheduled for the 13th of March of the year 2011. The king ordered the release of 50 political prisoners, including 25 Shia activists who were arrested during the 2010 crackdown and who were accused of forming a terrorist network uh, to overthrow the government. Now, despite, you know, everything, a state of emergency was declared. The government eventually arrested over 1,000 protesters in Bahrain. And uh, irrespective of that crackdown, protests continued to hold in the country. And by the year uh, 2012, in April, more than 80 people had died during that uprising in Bahrain. So they've been protesting, you know, just for a change in the government of the country. And that's what happened today in history, February 22, in the year 2011. No, it was actually a very historic moment for people in Nambare. I mean, you needed to see the videos and the pictures online. Yeah. It was a massive crowd, people coming out, just demanding a change in the government. But just a few people came out in Nigeria and we saw what happened, yeah. you know. Because uh, in most countries, in Sena climbs, as it were, you know, the right to protest is actually entrenched in the constitution and then this right are respected, which is more that can be said for our own country. Well, even in Bahrain, the police clamped down on them, killed yeah. lots of people, okay. you know, eventually. But that's where we are at the yeah. moment. All right, also making history. Uh, this morning, I was just uh, chit-chatting or pre-chatting with Aneta before we came on air. And I was like, okay, a sheep is actually making headlines and um, uh, or made headlines uh, some years ago in 1997, uh, to be precise. In Rosslyn, a uh, Middle Eastern uh, British scientist uh, announced that an adult sheep named Dolly has been successfully cloned. Wow. Now, Dolly was a female domestic sheep and the uh, first mammal cloned from an adult somatic cell uh, using the process of nuclear transfer. Dolly was born on the 5th of July 1996 and had three mothers. One provided the egg another the DNA, and the third carried the cloned embryo to term. Interesting. She was created using the technique of somatic cell nuclear transfer, where the cell nucleus from an adult cell is transferred into an unfertilized oocyte uh, has um, had its cells nucleus uh, removed. Now, Dolly's existence was announced to the public on the 22nd of February uh, 1997, and actually gained so much attention in the media. Mm. A special report was also uh, done at the Times magazine on Dolly, the popular ship. Now, even though Dolly was not the first animal cloned, she received media attention because she was the first cloned from an adult uh, cell. Uh, she lived her entire life at Roseland Institute in Middleton. Dolly was uh, euthanized because she had a progressive lung, uh, so sad, disease and severe arthritis. Okay, uh, Finn Dorset, such as Dolly, had a life expectancy of uh, around 11 to 12 years, but Dolly lived just uh, six and a half um, years. Now, some in the press speculated that a contributing factor to Dolly's death was that she could have been born with a genetic age of six years. Mm. Well, after cloning was successfully demonstrated through the production of Dolly, many other large mammals were cloned, including pigs. Uh, making cloned mammals was highly inefficient. Uh, Dolly was the only lamb that survived to adulthood from 277 attempts. She has been called the world's most famous ship by sources including the BBC News and Scientific.
Americans. Mm. I think this is a very interesting topic because mm -hmm. when it comes to science, what really can't we achieve? Mm. They successfully cloned Dolly the sheep. Mm. After that, they cloned pigs, yes, they, did. they cloned mice, they cloned mm -hmm. cats, they cloned horses. I really can't wait to see what we can do when it comes to human cloning. They've been trying to do that, unsuccessfully so. Okay. You know, there are still questions as to why no, can't we clone humans, just, even though we've cloned animals. It just cropped in my head now. I mean, they just take some samples from your DNA, and next thing I'll be seeing another Aneta just sitting beside me in the that, middle. That would just be a phenomenal work of science, really. Yeah. But re How but, would you feel if you were cloned? How would I feel if I were cloned? Hmm. It, it, that would depend if it was with my content or not. Because imagine if you okay. have a clone of me, you, you give a living, breathing human. And there's another Aneta, maybe this time with long hair. <laughs> But I think, I think people in the Christian or mm. religious groups would, would believe that yeah. cloning a human being would never be possible because they would you know, give arguments about the breath of life that okay. you know, God put in us and mm. all of that. But they've made success when it comes to animals, but who knows what science is left to achieve. Mm. So that's basically what happened today in history, February 22nd, yeah, 1997, yeah. I believe. 1997, yeah. Dolly right. the ship, the popular yeah. ship. And uh, that's the much we can give you today on Today in History. We'll take a break here to return to bring back Mr. Libros Oshama to discuss abductions of school children and the business of payment of ransom. <laughs> 